There's a cross section. You can see the nice moisture. You can see how it's full of jelly. It's completely different to the experience of eating a ripe almond. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely. It's got its own flavour. It doesn't taste like a ripe almond. Reminds me a little bit of coconut, actually. Uh, the coconut water in the coconut nut. That's what it reminds me of. Look, up high. Oh, look, that's what we're after. Almonds. Green, fuzzy almonds. They're full of beautiful, delicate, embryonic almonds that are edible, apparently. And I've lived here for, what, 27 years? And I didn't know that they were edible at this stage. And normally the cockatoos eat them all. Well, I'm going to give them a run for their money because apparently they're a delicacy. Let's try them anyway. Look at them, aren't they wonderful? Let's try and get some before the cockatoos get them all. Yes, that almond tree there you're looking at. That almond tree was planted in a, cof a plastic coffee cup in 1986. I just put uh, some almonds from the uh, fruit shop, shells and all, in our coffee cups. And I, plant I put a, uh, a hairline fracture in the shell to help them. So that helped them germinate. I look, there goes a cockatoo. Can you see it? They'll be after the almonds soon. Yes, I put a hairline fracture in the uh, almond nut in the shell and uh, just planted them in coffee cups and they all came up. And I've got about, I think about four still alive here. They can stand quite dry conditions once they're established. So look, all our almond trees at present in spring down under are covered in green almonds and they're full of beautiful uh, young, delicate almond nuts. It's a bit like, I suppose it's to nuts what veal is to meat. Their, um, veal is taken from an unborn calf, isn't it? Well, for, for, for vegetarians, we can have our almonds taken from an, an embryo nut. And uh, I just tried one actually, my first, and uh, it was lovely and delicate and the centers are, yes, filled with jelly. That's a crow, by the way. No, it's not. It's an Australian raven, officially. So, this will be much better for us, I think, to eat them at this stage, if, the, of course, if we can beat the cockatoos. But, I mean, ripe almonds, I've noticed, when you let them get ripe and old, I've noticed that some of the nuts have a sort of mould on them, and I think some of those moulds can contain aflatoxin. Is that what it's called? Which is supposed to be carcinogenic but there'd be no mould or aflatoxin on a, a fresh young almond like this. Look how fuzzy they are. You can see they're related to peaches, can't you? That's one reason I did never e try eating a green almond because I thought, well, peach kernels are poison, so I thought a young almond green might be poison. I reasoned incorrectly. Of course, you don't eat the fuzzy part. You just eat the nut in, in the middle and it's full of jelly. Let's go and have a look. Mmm, slightly crunchy but with a nice uh, moist centre. Crunchy around the edge and a moist centre in the middle, lovely. Mmm, they'd be nice with ice cream, wouldn't they? With vanilla ice cream with uh, raw almonds on top. They would. Anyway, the cockatoos haven't started eating these, so their birds are connoisseurs, they have good taste. So, if they haven't started eating them, maybe I should wait a little while longer. Maybe I should wait a few days more or something. I tried one anyway and it was quite delicious. Different from an ordinary almond, yes. Still a bit almondish. That's what they look like, green almonds anyway. And if you eat them in spring, you don't have to uh, bother about looking after them all summer long, do you? You only have to keep the trees alive all summer. You don't have to worry about fattening up nuts all summer long in the heat. So they go for up to $15 a kilo in the shops as green almonds. But as green almonds, they don't last that long once they're picked. 
about a week or something. So I suppose they're a bit of a delicacy like um, uh, green pistachio nuts. You can uh, eat pistachio nuts when they are uh, still small and green and milky like an avocado. They're quite a delicacy too. I th these haven't been described as a delicacy, but I think they're a delicacy really. Look, it's all free food. It's all free. All you have to do is uh, get a nut and plant it and you've got your own tree. That's all you've got to do for free food. I've been neglecting my almond trees because the, uh, the uh, uh, cockatoos eat, eat all the nuts, so I sort of neglected them a bit, And but now I'll be inclined to cut off all the dead branches. That one looks like a nice one. Look viewer, look viewer, here I am under the shade of my almond trees. I've just picked a few of these green almonds as an experiment. Fuzzy green uh, immature almonds. I've just cut one in half. You can, s can I do it with one hand? Oops, can I do it with one hand? You can see that they can be cut with a knife. Let's, ha oh, let's have a go. If they can be cut with a knife, that explains why the cockatoos can manage to get through them pretty well. And you can see it's full of a sort of gel. I could cut it lengthways, I suppose. Lengthwise, lengthways. Anyway, I could cut it lengthwise. Oh, there goes a tiny little caterpillar. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? <laughs> Isn't it cute? There it goes. About the almonds. There we are. You can see that they've got a sort of jelly in them. It's sort of like jelly in the middle. It's sort of like jelly. And it tastes alright. You eat the, um, well, where is it? There we are. You eat the almond, the young... You don't eat that part, of course. You eat the almond here and it's got jelly in it. And it has a nice flavour. Ah, well, no, well, it's unique. It's not like a, a ripe almond at all. It's sort of more delicate. It's more delicate. Like, <laughs> like me. <laughs> Come on. If I've got flies in my eyes. Oh, look at that. There's a cross section. You can see the nice moisture. You can see how it's full of jelly. It's completely different to the experience of eating a ripe almond. And apparently it's edible. And I could have been doing this for the last 27 years and I didn't know about it. Mmm. Oh, it's lovely. It's got its own flavour. It doesn't taste like a ripe almond. Reminds me a little bit of coconut, actually. Uh, the coconut water in the coconut nut, that's what it reminds me of. And I've got as many as I like. So that's my experience with these. And that's very interesting. Look at that beautiful jelly. I've got as many almonds as I want to eat. I can see why the cockatoos take them now. That's another thing. If I were going to eat these, I'd be eating the cockatoos' food. I shall have to plant some more almond trees, shan't I? I shall. Otherwise the cockatoos will be going without. Let's go and look at the article in the newspaper now in uh, the Australian Broadcasting Commission and read about them, the uh, eating green almonds. Very delicate. It's quite cooling actually in this warmer weather. Nice and cooling to eat. Mmm. Slightly crunchy but with a nice uh, moist centre. Crunchy around the edge and a moist centre in the middle. Lovely. Mmm. They'd be nice with ice cream, wouldn't they? With vanilla ice cream with uh, raw almonds on top. They would. I could sit here all day and eat them, couldn't I? Oh, 
I could sit here all day and listen to the crows. I could. The ravens and the cockatoos. The cockatoos will be coming to take all these nuts soon. Hi boys and girls, viewers. Here we are under the almond tree. <laughs> Here we are under the almond tree again, just having a quick look at the notes from uh, ABC TV News or ABC News Online. What was the date? Um, posted Wednesday the 9th of October 2013. That's today. Anyway, no, that was yesterday. No, it was two days ago. Anyway, fuzzy green, ar fuzzy green almonds, finding a niche market. I won't read the whole article. I'll just read the salient points that concern us. I'll, I'll post a link in the sidebar or wherever for uh, this information anyway from the Australian Broadcasting Commission. It's an unusual crop. Well it is. We don't usually think of eating raw almonds, do we? We don't. We don't. Well, I mean raw, uh, raw embryonic almonds. We don't usually think of that. Almond, almond growers have been, pick, been out picking their crop green, green for customers, most with Mediterranean backgrounds in Sydney and Melbourne. Almonds are usually harvested in March or April, but green almonds are picked three to four weeks after trees flower in September and October, when the crop is soft and fuzzy. Yes, it was only a few weeks ago that we had all almond blossoms behind me, and now we've got these young immature almonds. Ibrahim Demir produces green almonds on his small acreage near Renmark. He does. These are just regular almonds. It's just we're picking them green, green, green. Yes, he said. Mr. Demir's grandfather picked almonds green in Turkey, so eating, picking and eating green almonds goes back a long way and it's perfectly normal, perfectly natural, perfectly healthy, perfectly edible. They can be eaten whole when the embryonic almond inside its shell is soft like jelly. And it was delicious, wasn't it? It was. It was delicious. They've been eaten for thousands of years, I suppose. It's not a delicacy, but at this time of year there's no real fruit, so they would have just eaten it naturally, Mr. Demir said. Well, I think it is rather a delicacy, but they're true to say that at this time of year, there's, uh, in early, early to late spring, there aren't too many fruits around, except maybe loquats. Uh, William Hillsarker sells green almonds at his grocery store in Melbourne. They're quite popular, getting more popular each year, he said. But he said many customers still needed an introduction to the unusual product. Well, it is an unusual product. I'd never have thought that you could eat a green almond. We do explain to them. Once they know what it is and how, they eat them, they accept them, they try them and come back for them. No worries, Mr. Hillsucker said. The average almond harvest in March and April is about 80,000 tonnes, while the green almond harvest is estimated at only 100 tonnes. At the greengrocer level, they could be between 10 and $15 a kilo. Green grocers, they've only got about a week to sell it, and if they leave it any longer, the almond starts to shrivel and it doesn't eat as well. So, these freshly picked immature almonds don't la have a long shelf life like um, a dried out uh, mature almond does. Enjoying the unusual treat. That's the article from the ABC. Anyway, I suggest you grow some lovely, beautiful green almonds for yourself. Look into my eyes. Just look into my eyes. You'll never forget this. You'll never forget that you can eat green almonds. <laughs> you, you'll never forget this. You'll never forget it. See ya.